Hey, thanks, Melinda. Chief Meteorologist Catherine Thompson here. Let's talk a little bit about the weather now. It was a pretty quiet day today. We've seen a, get a good bit more sunshine, too, but we've still been a little on the chilly side. Highs today have only been in the 30s, if not the low 40s. We are going to be quiet tonight, but still kind of chilly. A warm-up, though, just around the corner. We just got to get past tonight. Our satellite and radar at the moment not picking up much. We've seen a few clouds here and there, but otherwise, again, skies will be pretty clear, at least for the first part of the night. I do think we could see a, fi a bit more cloud cover develop overnight tonight, but as far as any moisture goes, that's about the extent of that. We shouldn't see any rain or snow tonight. Most of us in the 30s now, if not the low 40s, and again, we'll continue to drop overnight. Now, one thing is for sure, we've been calm today as far as the winds go. They haven't been quite as bad, but look what happens as we head into the overnight hours. We start to get a little gusty again, and we do look kind of windy at times as we head into our Wednesday. Now, we still are going to be dry, but this is out ahead of an incoming cold front that will affect us as we head closer to New Year's Eve and into New Year's Day. High pressure keeping us dry right now overnight tonight. It slides offshore tomorrow, though, opening up the door for southerly flow. So we get warmer, but we get some moisture in here. I don't think we're going to see too much of a rain chance tomorrow, but by Thursday, this front starting to come into our area, so we'll start to see some rain into our New Year's Eve. Let's take a close look at future cast. Again, tonight, 20s and 30s. Tomorrow, most of the day, again, looking dry, just a mixture of sun and clouds, and we'll be a bit warmer. Upper 40s, low 50s tomorrow afternoon, so a bit more comfortable tomorrow. Notice the cloud cover, though, by tomorrow night, and once we get past midnight, the chance of showers starts to go up, especially to our west, and gradually we'll start to see that rain spread a little bit more through the morning. Doesn't look like a washout Thursday, but I do think we're going to see a bit more rain into Friday for New Year's Day. New Year's Day actually looks kind of soggy. Let me back that up a little bit. Here we are going through Friday again. Widespread rain expected. Maybe some flakes in there at the very high elevations or a little ice, but nothing significant with winter weather. We start to dry out a bit more through the weekend, but there's still some hints that there could be some isolated rain or a few flakes around Saturday night or Sunday. Doesn't look as wet, though, as we will again for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. So even though it's not looking wintry, and unfortunately snow lovers not quite getting our wish this week, we still could have some hazards to worry about, some gusty winds and heavy rain. I don't think we're going to see widespread flooding issues, but we could see something localized pop up. So we'll keep an eye on that storm as we head closer to time. Temperatures again tonight, though, to recap in the 20s, quiet tonight and tomorrow. And we'll be back around that 50 degree mark tomorrow in the 50s. So good warm up late week, but soggy. And then the cooler air finally comes in behind that system as we head into early next week. Could see a few more rain and snow showers Sunday evening and as we head into Monday of next week. Hey, stick with us. We'll be 